April 19th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 39 and 40 from the Old Testament. I decided I will watch what I say and make sure I do not sin with my tongue. I will put a muzzle over my mouth while in the presence of an evil man. I was stone silent. I held back the urge to speak. My frustration grew. My anxiety intensified. As I thought about it, I became impatient. Finally, I spoke these words. O oh Lord, help me understand my mortality and the brevity of life. Let me realize how quickly my life will pass. Look, you make my days short-lived, and my lifespan is nothing from your perspective. Surely all people, even those who seem secure, are nothing but vapor. Surely people go through life as mere ghosts. Surely they accumulate worthless wealth, without knowing who will eventually haul it away. But now, O Lord, upon what am I relying? You are my only hope. Deliver me from all my sins of rebellion. Do not make me the object of fool's insult. I am silent and cannot open my mouth because of what you have done. Please stop wounding me. You have almost beaten me to death. You severely discipline people for their sins. Like a moth, you slowly devour their strength. Surely all people are a mere vapor. Selah. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Do not ignore my sobbing, for I am dependent on you like one residing outside his native land. I am at your mercy, just as all my ancestors were. Turn your angry gaze away from me so I can be happy before I pass away. I relied completely on the Lord, and he turned toward me and heard my cry for help. He lifted me out of the watery pit, out of the slimy mud. He placed my feet on a rock and gave me secure footing. He gave me reason to sing a new song, praising our God. May many see what God has done, so that they might swear allegiance to him and trust in the Lord. How blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord and does not seek help from the proud or from liars. O oh Lord, my God, you have accomplished many things. You have done amazing things and carried out your purposes for us. No one can thwart you. I want to declare them and talk about them, but they are too numerous to recount. Receiving sacrifices and offerings are not your primary concern. You make that quite clear to me. You do not ask for burnt sacrifices and sin offerings. Then I say, look, I come. What is written in the scroll pertains to me. I want to do what pleases you, my God. Your law dominates my thoughts. I have told the great assembly about your justice. Look, I spare no words. O oh Lord, you know this is true. I have not failed to tell about your justice. I spoke about your reliability and deliverance. I have not neglected to tell the great assembly about your loyal love and faithfulness. O oh Lord, you do not withhold your compassion from me. May your loyal love and faithfulness continually protect me. For innumerable dangers surround me. My sins overtake me, so I am unable to see. They outnumber the hairs of my head, so my strength fails me. Please be willing, O Lord, to rescue me. O Lord, hurry and help me. May those who are trying to snatch away my life be totally embarrassed and ashamed. May those who want to harm me be turned back and ashamed. May those who say to me, Aha! Aha! be humiliated and disgraced. May all those who seek you be happy and rejoice in you. May those who love to experience your deliverance say continually, May the Lord be praised. For I am oppressed and needy. May the Lord pay attention to me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Oh my God, do not delay. God, the part in Psalms 40 where the person talks about how blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord and does not seek help from the proud or from liars. I think about that a lot before, before I fell madly in love with you and, and just loved reading your word. I loved reading books about your word. I loved reading books about how to be a better person. I loved reading books about the people in the Bible. <laughs> I loved watching things on TV about the Bible. 
I like pretty much everything except for physically being in your word in the Bible. And nowadays we have all the social media, which is distracting. So we throw around Bible um, studies and we throw around Bible verses and cute little images and pictures on Pinterest. We do everything except for be in your word. And it is your word that is the truth. It is your word that is the honesty. It is your word that shows us how to live. All of these other things are dilutions in comparison to what your word actually says. You know, it goes on to talk about how you, how you, it's not the sacrifices and the burnt offerings that you want. You want us. You want not all the rituals surrounding religion or Christianity. You want us. You want us to say, look, I come. I come with my arms open, my heart open, my mind open. God, use me. Let me be the person you created me to be. Maybe, maybe we're afraid to open the Bible. Maybe we're afraid that it will require us to change, which it will. <laughs> maybe we're just scared of what that looks like. Maybe we think we won't understand the words. Um, and there was a time when I didn't, but it also says if you, if we ask you, you will show us what things mean. God, I'm not really sure um, why people seem to skirt around a relationship with you, kind of do everything but actually be in a relationship with you. But I know for a long time I did that. Um, and my reason was simply fear, fear of being in that relationship, fear of knowing the commitment level that you would require of me. Now that I'm here, of course, I can't imagine anything else ever again. But God, I just pray for people who are listening today who might be in that situation. I very much understand those feelings of, gosh, if I get much further into this relationship, then I I actually have to do some things. I have to care and love other people that I may not want to love and care about. Ah, I have to forgive people. I actually have to work on these relationships. And I think the amazing thing is once you're in that relationship with you, you help us with all those things. You help us walk in those relationships. You help us love other people that are probably pretty unlovable in general. You help us with the forgiveness and the fellowship piece. All you ask us to do is say, look, I come. And I know from personal experience, there is work that I need to do. But for the most part, it's you who's working in my heart and other people's hearts to work out everything, which is kind of crazy awesome. God, thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you seek us so dramatically you want a relationship with us. Having somebody want you actually feels really good. Thank you, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen.